he opened the door. I get out of the car. My kids, my kids, my kids are in here. A husband and father talking about the moment someone carjacked his wife's SUV with their young children inside. Tonight, new information about the man accused. Yeah, Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Sheldon Ingram is live for us. And Sheldon, the victim here has identified the suspect. Is that right? That's right. In addition to that, Harmer police say that they had a hot on the trail of the carjacker from yesterday. The victim, she identified him here at the police station this afternoon and then told us about that frightening experience. Nervous. I didn't sleep at all last night. The carjacking victim does not want to be identified, but says she had still shook up more than 24 hours after she was carjacked at FunFest. The woman describes a slender white male with a beanie cap and glasses who opened her car door and demanded her vehicle and purse while her three-year-old son and seven-month-old daughter were with her. What has this been oh, like for you emotionally over the last 24 hours? Um, I cried a lot. Just thinking about like what could have happened. <laughs> But I'm very grateful that he let me get them. That was crazy. Harmer police say they were told by witnesses the person who ditched the victim's car carried a backpack. That same person is picked up on the surveillance at an Oakmont Speedway, walking in the direction of FunFest, just minutes before the carjacking. The victim identified him late this afternoon in a photo array. When you went in mm -hmm. to that photo array, did yes. you see that guy? Yes, I did. And you positively identified him? Yes, I did. Police believe they know who they're looking for. A uh, description of a beanie cap that he had on that really stood out, stood out to um, a witness that spotted him walking across the Oakmont Bridge. Uh, was pretty much uh, the description was to a T of what our victim had given us. Now, although police have a person of interest, they have not disclosed how soon they plan to make an arrest. Reporting live from Harmerville, Sheldon Ingram, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. All right.